Hey guys, so I have light, which means I can make videos because I stand up now. So you know how when you're a kid and you want your school to set on fire because you think, hey, it'd be great, work would be ruined and everything and teachers would be sad. That happened to me. I lost all my technology coursework apart from the little bit I had on the computer. I was devastated when I got the call from school saying, hello, no you're ill and everything, but um, just to let you know, possibly all your technology coursework is ruined. From a fire that happened at the weekend. How? I don't understand. And then at the end they ask, oh, do you have any questions? Uh, yeah, yeah. How the fuck did the fire get into school? That's acting like the fire just walked in the door, like, yep, gonna just walk in. See, I'm making jokes of it, because I'm fucking annoyed. To my knowledge, no one died or got hurt. See, that's a thing that I'm telling you because, you know, I rage. Releasing the anger. Sorry. So I feel like I should explain the introduction because it was quite quite random. Basically, I went to this place called Mad the other day in London with my friends. It has loads of games and it also has food like cupcakes and milkshakes and game game themed cocktails, which I thought were pretty cool. And we had this like Super Nintendo console thing. Sorry if you're a gamer, I'm useless. I haven't got the faintest idea about anything related to games. I just press buttons and hope for the best. Um, but yeah, it was really cool and my friend basically had these horse masks, which you saw in the introduction. We went around in London with those on every now and then. At one point someone came up to me and just kind of stroked the head. They came up behind me and it was terrifying and I just kind of scuttled back to my friend. Not even joking, like scuttled. I don't even know how to describe it apart from saying scuttle. Someone says... Also, haven't recorded a video in a while because parents are doing work on the kitchen, thought I should tell you that. The fact that someone was coming up the stairs except they weren't reminded me. Sorry. But anyway, some Polish people came up to us and my friend let them borrow the horse mask because that's what they wanted and they wanted a photo. My other friend decided to just kind of shove me towards them and go, hey Ella, go take a photo. And they're like, yeah, yeah, come with us. And I was just there like, oh god. And you had just this photo that my friend took on this, D um, not DSLR, on an SLR. Nice camera that is, I, my new cover photo and profile picture from that. I love it, I want one. I want loads of cameras. I now own a Polaroid and a whole camera. Slowly becoming someone who's really shit at photography, but addicted to purchasing cameras. Not good. Not, not good. But I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I need to stop. I'm gonna go, that's what I'm gonna do. I've told you pretty much everything that's happened recently and why do you watch this? Just why? Okay, I'm gonna go. Goodbye, friends. I love you all. Hopefully we'll do a video soon. Who knows? That's the fun bit about being subscribed to my channel. You never know when you're gonna get content. Goodbye! Outro time. Not stopping recording. Shit. I forgot to get a small thing. Cause that's become a thing now, apparently. Are you even in focus? I don't know anymore. Shoo. Miniature shoe, <laughs> just on the table. I didn't even put it there. And I have no idea where this came from. But here we go. So this is the outro bit apparently. Uh, just gonna put my old video here. Don't don't forget to check it out. It's the first time I ever stood up and I'm even probably weirder than I was here. So yeah, I love you all. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, dislike if you didn't like the video. That's the thing that not many people tell people to do. What the fuck am I doing? Bye.